with the Alzheimer's Association as June is both Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month. Also, the longest day fundraiser. Good morning. Good morning. And as we mentioned, June is such an important month for the Alzheimer's Association because it's Alzheimer's Awareness Month, Brain Awareness Month, and the longest fundraiser. So let's talk about the fundraiser a little bit. Okay. Uh, the longest day is the day, of course, with the most light. It's the day we want to shut shed the most light on Alzheimer's and mm -hmm. dementia. And as you know, there's no cure. Right. And by the age of uh, 45, uh, the, the risk for women is one in five, mm -hmm. and the risk for men, one in 10. So we wanna do healthy things uh, to uh, take care of our brain as well as the rest of our health. And how can we manage our brain health? Well, if you go to the Alzheimer's uh, website, alz.org mm -hmm. slash healthy habits, they have a list of 10 healthy brain habits. And we know that uh, managing our blood pressure, mm -hmm. our diabetes, um, things like sleeping well <laughs> is very important. Uh, also, um, Things like protecting your head with a helmet if you're bicycling, fastening your seatbelt because a lot of head injuries and accidents. So if you want the whole list, you can go to the, the website and get the whole list and, and a discussion. Perfect. So, and early detection, that's also key. Very important because less than half of Alzheimer's patients mm -hmm. get a diagnosis. And if you don't get an early diagnosis, then you're not available to some of the things you can do to help slow down disease, some of the treatments, and also it helps the patient and their family plan for the future. Right, just know what's ahead. Just know what's ahead. Okay, Don't be so afraid. That's right, that's right. Just it's better to know and to be able to deal with it. You bet. So, so let's talk about this fundraiser a little bit more. What can people expect? Out well, of this? the longest day is a time for everybody to do what they like to do best mm -hmm. or maybe what your friend or your loved one that had dementia uh, to do to honor them. And you don't have to do it today, even though this is the longest day and it's a good day to do it, but you can do it anytime. And uh, there's lots of things that are pe people are doing. Some people uh, will participate in the big run in October. We always hear about that. Uh, if you go to BJ's restaurant right now and you add a dollar to your bill, they'll give you a gift certificate for a Sunday. Oh, Pickle Palooza's having a big deal this weekend. Later, there will be a big workout uh, in Old Town, down in the square, that you can join into. The thing that I'm most excited about is that one of the healthy things for your brain is to keep learning. Yeah. And so anything that challenges your brain is good. And when I retired, one of the things I learned to do was to play Mahjong. Oh, and American okay. Mahjong, you play with a card, and that card changes every year. So it challenges you and your opponents to keep your brain active. And so a number of us in the Wichita area got together and we decided we'd have a Mahjong for Memories Play Day. And it'll be June 26th, a week from today. It'll be at the Madison Avenue Central Park Pavilion, 512 East Madison Avenue, Derby, Kansas. And you can check in at 8.30. We're gonna play from nine to three. You can play part of the day or all day long. Noon, we will have a break and Jason's Deli will furnish our mm -hmm. lunch. We will have gift bags and all kinds of really neat raffle things. So Mahjong players, bring your purses with your pie in it so that you can buy raffle <laughs> tickets. So we're hoping to uh, raise some good money for Alzheimer's Association. Well, wonderful. And brain health. Well, Roberta, thanks so much for coming on this morning. We Thank appreciate you. it.